There are two times, well actually three, that I need this embroidery arm to move in a certain direction. Let's talk about parking the embroidery arm for getting your unit back in your box. So if you like to store it in there, it has a special place. Now once the embroidery unit is off and not attached to the machine, you can physically move it, it's just a little tight, but you can move it. But the proper way to do it is actually pull up a design. You do have to have a design on your screen to get to this area. Touch your hoop icon. Now you have where you choose your hoops, but over here on this side, you do have two icons that say with a blue P beside it. So one of them is actually to park the embroidery arm all the way to the far side. Now it's asking me to take the hoop off, which would make sense, and then it's gonna move the arm all the way over here. This is the park position for getting it back into the, uh, into the box. Now there's one other park position in here, and it shows a P with the arrow pointing away from it. And if we touch the question mark, it's to park the embroidery module so you can move, the hoop will move all the way towards the needle so you can get in and get to your bobbin without taking your hoop off. Now let me show you where you would do that. Now you can't do it when you're just editing a design, getting it ready to stitch. It's actually more for when you're actually in the middle of stitching. So let's go ahead and pretend that we're in the middle of embroidery. We can go to the hoop area. That park position is here. And so what it does is it moves the hoop all the way far and you can get into that bobbin easily and get your bobbin in or out uh, for putting new bobbin in or just checking it and being back to normal. So as soon as you start uh, stitching, it will return back to normal uh, location for you. Now there is one other item here is that your embroidery, sometimes when your design gets really close to this bracket and then stops and you need to use the needle threader, okay, uh, there is a option to move the hoop more away from the needle threader so it will actually come down. Sometimes you have a lot of fabric in this area and that doesn't allow this to come into position. So to get that, you just go into the hoop area and then there is both those positions for moving the hoop for better access.